Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to another Take and Make adventure. My name is Beth, and I will be leading you through this next little crafty challenge that Jenny has given us. Although it's not one of the harder um, crafts that she's given us, I was trying to think of a cool word and I had no words. So although it's not the hardest or most difficult or most intricate thing, boy, was this satisfying to do and so pretty. So this time around, we are doing hand-painted wooden spoons. So the first thing you wanna do is unpack your kit. I'm gonna put the instructions to the side. You know how I am about instructions, but I did read them, all of them. So look at me, proud moment, huh? You're gonna have a couple wooden spoons, cute little string if you decide to gift them, if you can bear to part with them. And options for paint colors. These feel very springy, which I think is a nice thing to have during this, hmm, could be somewhat gloomy weather. I love the fall and I love the color change, the, the color, yeah, the changing of the leaves. They always call it the color tours. That's it. And Lord knows I love some apples and apple cider and pumpkins and all the yummy stuff that goes with the fall, like football. I don't love the rain. So these bright springy colors are gonna strike a note with me. And then you'll have your own little container of food grade mineral oil. I'm gonna put that on a tray because I tend to be messy. So I have swiped one of our little preschool story time trays because I do story time too, so I know where all the goods are kept. But you could just use a cookie sheet at home. That's what I did when I made it at home because yes, I did a dry run, but it's actually so easy I didn't need to practice, but I did need an oven, and they haven't yet gotten one here for us. Jenny and I are working on them, but they're just not going for it. So I'm gonna put this with the lid still on, on my tray. You'll also have a makeup sponge, and tape to your bag is a nice long piece of painter's tape, which is really cool because it gives you the option to not only do both of your spoons, but to be able to do a pattern if you would like, and that's what I'm going to attempt this time around. So I'm just going to take my tape and kind of line it up in what I think is a straight line, may or may not be, and I'm gonna just twist it right around. I'm a little off of being straight, but that's okay. I don't care about things being perfect. So I just twist it around. I'm gonna tear off another little piece of tape here. And the nice thing is the handles are so thin, it doesn't take tons, so you can really play around with it. And I'm gonna do another little stripe in here. Again, I'm gonna eyeball it. It doesn't look quite straight, straight-ish, maybe wrap this around, turn it as I go. This one was a little better. Hey, I'm getting better. That's all we can ask in life is to improve, right? So then I'm gonna choose my color. I think I'm gonna do this pretty lavender. I do have a thing for purple. So I'm gonna do lavender to start. Now, if I was at home like you guys, I would do the lavender, rinse my sponge out. Ooh, I do have a spare. I would do the lavender, rinse my sponge out, just dry it with a hand towel, like a dish towel, once you make sure you have all that paint out, or even a, a paper towel, just to squish all the water out. The squish is going to be the technique I'm using, squishing. And then I'm just gonna dab my paint on. And I'm not going over it, very much because I don't want to blot it off. I want to keep it on there as much as I can. So I have a pretty even coat all the way around. This is where I would go clean my sponge. 
get it nice, clear water running out of it. And then once I had done that, squeezed all the excess water out, squished it. Oh, this one doesn't want to open up. I'm gonna use this cute little peachy color. Get my sponge in there. And I'm gonna do the latter part of my handle. Oh, I do love those colors together. So again, I don't wanna blot it off, but I wanna get good coverage. I tend to be a more is more kind of gal. <laughs> In case you haven't figured that out yet. Ooh, there we go. So let me get this all around here. Okay, so now I have really good coverage of this cute peachy pink color and I got the end too. Then I would put this back on my tray. When you set it flat, your um, handle is actually going to be elevated. So that's really nice. Nothing's gonna touch the surface and stain up your stuff. So if you don't have a tray or something that you want to create it on, that's okay. You can actually put it on your counter. Now I'm going to pretend that this one's all done and has dried. Oh, let me grab a tissue really quick. I'm still here, I promise. Okay, because here I don't have all the stuff I have at home. I'm gonna use the tissue. So um, I would allow that spoon to air dry for at least an hour. And honestly, I do like a second coat because I can see some of the wood is bleeding through. So then I would do that again and make sure everything is completely dry. Then I'm gonna put it in my oven, turn it on to 350, let it come up to temperature, and then after it's at temperature, I'm gonna bake it for 20 to 25 minutes. Now, you wanna turn it off and let the spoons completely dry out. So I turned it off, I pulled mine out, set them on top of my stove, and let them completely dry and cool off. Cool off, not dry off. Then we take our mineral oil. Take the painted ones. Put them over here. Now, this is optional. If you're really not about the mineral oil, that's okay. You don't have to do it, but it actually gives you longer life for your spoons. Did you know that we're supposed to be treating all of our wood spoons like this? Why did I not know this? And cutting boards. Now, if you don't have mineral oil that's food safe, because you have to make sure it's food safe. If you don't have that at home, you can always use the oil of your choice. However, mineral oil is a good choice as long as it's food safe. It won't harm you and it doesn't go bad. So I'm going to swipe that mineral oil and we're playing pretend. Remember, we're pretending. This is the one we just painted. So I'm just gonna rub my paper towel all over it. So notice the difference in the color, the color change. So this wood is really dry as wood is, and this is gonna absorb all that oil and it's gonna lead to a longer life of the spoon. It'll keep the spoon from breaking down as quickly if you continue to do this on it at least semi-regular basis. Ooh, gotta get that lid on there. Um, it's really a great thing to do for all your wood elements or implements that you use to cook with. So I guess it's something we all need to start doing. I'm a little late to the game on that, but that's okay. Once you're all done, everything's dried, your mineral oil has soaked in, you're good to go. This will lead to longer life for your spoon, 
but I will tell you I would hesitate to paint this end as the paint will rub off. So also you don't want to eat it. You don't want to dishwasher these either. Wash your spoons, hot soapy water, hand wash them, let them dry naturally. Hit them with that mineral oil or the oil of your choice every month or two months or six months. Heck, any amount of time is better than what we've been doing, right? And you'll have a sweet little hand painted handle for your spoon. Now the really cool thing about this is this is a cute little gift that can keep on giving. You remember this string? How sweet would it be to paint these, bundle them up and give them as a gift? Yeah, you could save it for Christmas or another significant holiday or birthday or wedding, something like that. But you could also give it to someone who's just moving into a new place or starting over somewhere. You know, if you are getting out of college and going off to start your real life as an adult. Sweet little set. You can make it part of a whole um, themed gift or it's so cute, you could definitely give those just as their own gift or gift yourself. That's what I'm gonna do. I hope you guys had a really fun time making these sweet little spoons. Thanks, Jenny. This was a cute little craft, easy peasy, very satisfying and so colorful and happy. And who doesn't need a little colorful, happy in their life? I know I could always use some. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and an even better tomorrow. And I will see you in a couple weeks to see what Jenny has cooked up for us next. Good night.